hurts. How's it feeling? Yes. I feel good. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's been a good week. Good, good week of work. It's good to be back out here after two weeks off, resting my ankle. So I'm in a good place right now. I'm happy. How close do you feel at 100%? 100%. You feel 100%? 100%. When was the last time you felt that good? Yeah. Probably Stanford week. Yeah. What were the discussions with Coach Hunt like leading up to the past two games and deciding you know, whether you play or not? Um, so, going into Arizona week, I'd say like Tuesday, he talked to me um, about sitting out one week, maybe two. And then, um, yeah, we just talked it out and just thought it was the best decision for me and for the team. What, what made it the best decision? Um, I just feel like I was, I was hurting myself, trying to fight through injury, and, um, and, um, and yeah, it, was, it just wasn't helping out the team. Even, How much know, did even knowing those things, was it hard to accept those facts and kind of back up? Yeah, yeah, it was definitely hard to accept. Um, you know, you want to do everything possible to help the team and help the team succeed. But um, in the long term, I think it was a smart decision for me to try and get healthy these next two weeks so I could be good for the next four games, four to six games. Um, so, yeah. You're going up against an extremely talented offensive line. What do you see from Oregon? Yeah, extremely talented. They work together really well. Um, they try to establish their run game. It kind of opens up other things um, with the play action game and um, try to get their tight ends open. They use their tight ends a lot. Um, sort of looking to stop that. Who do you anticipate going up against? Um, both sides, left and right, playing strong side, weak side. So um, it doesn't really matter. What me? A lot of guys have mentioned your name when it comes to like leadership and things of that nature. Um, but what has won you the most throughout this season? You know, just kind of like giving the guys more advice and helping them throughout this season. Yeah, just just being able to pitch in and and, and point things out that need to get corrected. Um, no matter how big or how small. Um, even like off the field things, guys picking up trash in the locker room, helping out the janitors, stuff like that. So try to up my role off the, off the field and also on the field. And even not playing, um, my, my leadership role has changed, I've noticed too. Um, you know, being off the field, being on the sidelines, you know, talking my guy, talking my guys up, trying to get them focused and locked in um, while they're on the sidelines, you know, keeping their heads up. What, what kind of things you guys do off the field to kind of do that? Um, we play new Call of Duty that just came out, so we've been playing a lot of that. That's building a lot of camaraderie, I'd say. Um, even if whatever chance we get with during meals and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. What stands out about Pene Sewell, one of their tackles? Um, he's a really powerful punch. He's really strong in the point of contact. Um, so he uses his hands really well. Um, so yeah. One of the things I've seen in, when watching them is they're really good with their misdirections and things and their screen game. Um, what's the key for you in, in those two areas to try to help slow that down? Yeah, it's reading the screen and then pursuit to the ball. They can get pursuit angle. So after you read the screen, um, that backside pursuit really helps out the linebackers as the, as the offense climbs up to second level.